Okay, so we're going to analyze a few higher rated players games and try and balance it out between the answer process that we're currently working on. Just to see if the general populace are utilizing this type of psychology without any fancy airs or graces. I think I'm going to be shocked and I'm going to find that there potentially will be small elements of the answer process being used and there may be a lot of fancy, prancy, dancy type stuff. But we're going to go searching for the simple direct answer process manoeuvres. So let's dive in. These players are 2800 around that area. So white opened with the knight coming through onto the f3. Black responds nice and steadily just coming through the center here. So we're just seeing what it's trying to operate. It's kind of managing these areas here. Obviously white is managing these areas, you know, around here, that type of thing. This pawn push is a little bit needy. Um, for a high level player like this, I would probably would not ex really expect to see this type of maneuver. Um, we know what we call this, it's like lazy man's chest. It's like, well, I don't really know what to do. I'll wait for to see what you're going to do. But we shall see how it develops during the game. So Knight develops pretty straightforward is that nice and steady away just getting it out and they're going for lazy man's chest so in essence they're not developing any of their pieces you know around their king no minor pieces are coming out apart from the knight that they've got out here um, maybe they're looking to get this rook into the game somehow but rooks don't really have any place in the center of the board so i'm slightly concerned with this type of opening from white at the moment it is definitely a double lazy man's chess situation going on here. Unless of course they were joking around, I don't know. I've just picked this game at random. So Black eventually blocks it off, stops the Scud Missile from coming any further down. But it doesn't he doesn't really lose too much in terms of development of his pieces per se. I've, I would say it's probably strengthened because now the pawn is um, managing this area here, kind of stopping the knight from jumping to here if he was going to do that. So again, another pawn push, opening up space for his bishops. Okay, so in my head, in, instantly I'm just thinking, okay, well, it looks like White's kind of not proactive in wanting to attack. He's, I think he's waiting for the opponent to, you know, overextend and then, they, then they'll do something. It's really lazy sort of tactic, this. So they developed the knight. It's got a question mark on, but I'm not looking at these... Um, evaluations and we're doing our own um, I feel fairly happy he's developed the knight so he's getting other pieces out and is he really is he thinking of pushing here not yet because he doesn't have anything else supporting is he really looking maybe to queenside castle or as we've mentioned in the 2000 plus traits are they not going to castle at all and they're just going to do a virtual castle when it's necessary Another key point to remember. Okay, so jumping back to the traits of the 2000 pluses, yep, obviously they do have that trait about them in terms of not really caring for their king. They tend to just get their pieces out there and start fighting with the pieces. And come what may, if the king is then in trouble, then they'll start looking at defending it. Now, white has started to develop their pieces. Yeah, so he does actually have a bishop out. He is equal in terms of minor pieces being developed. Um, Black doesn't really have a key area to attack in any way, shape. He's really managing this square even more so now because we can't really start pushing here because we, we don't have any support. So is, is he going to bring his white square bishop out here to actually go on Queenside Castle? It's shaping up to look that way, but it's too early to tell. So the white square bishop does escape, okay, so it escapes, maybe I'm thinking they are potentially queenside castling. So it's attacking the knight, it's also attacking the pawn, there is a two on one on this pawn. Is there another piece that can actually come and defend this pawn? That's the question. 
or are they going to just attack a piece of the of blacks yep so they've moved the knight so the knight is attacking the bishop it's also attacking the knight this pawn can defend if he's a fan of doubling the pawns then he won't mind that the um, knight can take there and probably just take with the take the pawn with the bishop that's what I would think but we shall see how it transpires has this knight got any other deadly moves no I can't really see it off the top of my head so yeah that makes sense the bishop capturing the pawn because it's got a 2 on 1 okay so again that makes sense the computer's not happy with it it's saying it's a bit of a blunder but like we said we're not looking at the computer evaluation we're looking at the answer process in its rawest form trying to find the answer process within these high level games here so far it's it's kind of working in our favor especially looking for black um black is utilizing more the answer process at this moment in time looking for appropriate position appropriate targeting all simple straightforward stuff i could understand it yep so then they've pushed push the pawn through now they're being defensive realistically i don't think that pawn is a defense it's a support for the attack here attacking the bishop so that's a pr pretty obvious so it looks like the bishop is going to be taken off the board so he may just bring the bishop here to say well if the knight's going to take i am going to queenside castle anyway so you may you can take it double the pawns on this side gives our rooks a little bit of um play along this file here if need be can't see anything else because the bishop can't move anywhere else unless of course he just takes the knight off the board if he takes the knight off the board then this pawn takes and then it's actually on uh, on the knight so the knight can move or well, it can't move there because yeah because our pawn is there it's blocking the way so realistically the knight could jump back i suppose but then it's blocking the queen it's a bit slow is all that necessary so what do i think he's going to do i think probably higher higher up levels like their bishops don't they but even if he puts it there the knight can take so if they go for this combination here then the pawn takes i'm really hunting to get that bishop but there's no way of getting it so knight comes back here it's on the pawn then he drops the pawn down then he saves his bishop because they treasure their bishops so i think that's what they're going to do i think they're just going to actually take the knight so let's see what we're going to do <gasps> i'm shocked i am shocked okay fair enough right so it's opened up his dark square bishop to potentially come here then and x-ray through but i really that's not looking too good uh, it's not going to come here because the pawn just drops so in essence they'll continue with their attack on the bishop so i think they're happy to lose their bishop and double the pawns okay fair enough <gasps> is that not a missed opportunity why did they do this pawn move in the first place i don't know what the queen move was at all at all rightly so question mark there so these are 2800 players um as you can see um yeah so very bemused by white's play really bemused by it um it's I, personally I, i'm classing this as it's not as strong as i would have assumed it would have been because obviously that's all there to be maybe they're saving it because they know that the bishop can't escape anyway so the knight's going to take it at some point but realistically, I'm not too sure what that queen move was. I mean, is he looking to support? Because when the pawn comes down, then the bishop comes here, then he gets the he gets the pawn, doesn't he? Right. So this is probably what they were thinking. Yeah. But I think the knight needs to take this knight. Yep. Because let me just show, just to make sure that uh, we're on the same page here. So if we don't, if if black doesn't take the knight and leaves the knight there, and say they do something egregious, maybe just bring the bishop here or something like that. What's going to happen is this is going to come down. Bishop moves here, 
knight takes, then the pawn takes, and then the queen gets the pawn. So I can understand why they've done that. Yes, I, I wouldn't class it as a blunder now that I've looked at it. I'd class it as, oh, it's a little bit stealthy, but a little bit slow. Because the main, main piece that can actually take the bishop back is this. And I don't think this knight's going to stay on here now. I think the next move they're going to take. Oh, dumb. Exactly. So it does lose them tempo. They did an attack, well, a potential threat position. But one of the pieces that was supporting that threat position could be taken off the board. That seems really kind of low level knowledge, in a sense. Hmm. Okay. So obviously the... I think the pawn's going to be taken because it's going to be on the knight, but we never can tell with um, how the way what, uh, white is playing. So the pawn does take. And now a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Um, I would say that's a top move. Yep, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. It's got the support of the pawn here. Um, beautiful use of the answer process. This is the, the type of thing that I'm talking about when I'm talking about the answer process. Um, it's not something I've invented, like I've mentioned, right at the very start of um, Chess Gym's streaming. It's really about understanding what makes a good player. How do the good players do the, their chess? And from analysing loads and loads and hundreds, thousands of games, it's come. it comes down to that basic, essential, simple, direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically. Smaller pieces attacking higher pieces. Just basically understanding the good basic strategy of chess, which is to get a checkmate, get them to capitulate, maybe get a draw because nothing can happen in that situation. So just basically being able to put pressure onto the opponent or the king area or the spaces around the king. Yeah, get a resignation. So that's beautiful. That's lovely. Black's not had to do anything special. White really has given him these positions because of the way that they've opened. Look at these pieces, not even developed yet. I know our bishop, no, sorry, our, I know Black's bishop isn't developed at the moment, but he's developed appropriately. You know, when it's necessary, he's moved the necessary piece. He's captured at the right moment, at the right time. I can understand the process. I could understand why it's process as well. I could understand the attack process they were going through. But it really was slow. So what am I doing now? It's, uh, it's White's turn, so I, I can't really guess what he's going to do. He's going to move the Queen, but maybe they forget themselves. So the Queen comes further down. It's attacking the B, always for the B pawn. It's a cheap shot, really. You know, it's... um. It doesn't improve anything because obviously he has to move the queen because he's under attack. So now he's moved the queen again. It's not developed any other minor pieces. This rook's got nowhere to go. His king is in the center of the board. Our His king is in the center of the board, but it looks like it's going to be getting castled pretty soon. Now, the options that White's got, because they are on the pawn, he could allow the pawn to be taken and let the king just queen just sit here and then they can manipulate it putting more pressure on it so they're losing more tempo because he's got the check on he could go for a check um queen exchange it seems a little bit basic i'm, I'm sort of like thinking well are they going to go for a bit or are they just going to bring the knight back and block keeping the queen here because then if the queen does take then at least the queen is protecting the rook so probably the knight is coming back around here, keeping it simple. I don't think they'll go with the queen thing because then they're going to be on the rook. Don't think there's anything else. Keeping it nice and simple. Yeah, so the knight comes down. That's pretty straight, simple, straightforward. So our guesswork is working quite nicely um, with this player because we're understanding the position. It is very simple and straightforward um, as far as I can see. Um, so now obviously the queen is thinking about taking the pawn. I think they will because obviously they're a pawn down so they might go, well, no, just because you got that pawn don't mean you're winning. 
So when they do bring this down, I think they lose more tempi, like we said, they're not developing any other pieces, not even developing this, not even de uh, developing the centre pawns or anything like that. So it looks a bit sketchy at the moment. So he's delayed it. He's delayed it. A very, yeah, he's delayed it. Maybe based on what we were just talking about, losing tempo um, in developing pieces, but um, he's just developed a pawn. So I'm really getting quite concerned for them now, because that does give um, Black time to push the pawn up to defend itself. If that happens, what's the magic that he's looking at? Because he's pushed the pawn for a reason. Is he looking to take or is he looking to push past? Um, it doesn't make sense that one. I need to check it because his queen move didn't make sense until we looked back and thought, oh yeah, he's coming for a sneaky little pawn. I don't really... He's looking for another pawn again. That's it. You know, so if we put, if um, black pushes here, then they take, and if we take, then he takes, and then it's going to be like a pawn up, in a sense. So, his skill is in looking for those pawns, grabbing those pawns, but his skill is not in working his pieces together, his skill is not in keeping his king safe, his, his skill is not in getting his rooks working together either. His skill is in just finding cheap little pawns to attack. Oh, scandal. 2800, you know. So they capture. They don't want to get into involved in that. So at the end of the day, if he does take this pawn, excuse me, if he does take this pawn, then at least we've got the pawn here. So in essence, probably going to take here. And it's like, um, not even Stevens, because we're still, black is still going to be one pawn up. So I'm not sure what White was thinking in the start of this game up until this point as well. Serious losses in tempo. Pieces definitely not working together. It does look a little bit bad. I'm looking 28, 2800 is not a, a rating to really be messing with, is it? This, that's like, this is like an IM. It's got... I am at the side of the name. It's an international master. So international master means you're international master. And we're looking at this game and I'm just thinking out. I've played some vicious 1100s and vicious 900s that have not done this type of manoeuvre as openings. They've played a lot better than this. And the knight comes out now, so now he's decided to develop pieces. It's almost like it's kind of too late to the party, but let's hang fire. Look at the situation. Black hasn't castled either. Black's got one piece on the back. White's got one piece on the back now. Black is two pawns up. Their queen at the moment is in no man's land, but he's in no rush now to get this pawn. As we said before, if he does grab that pawn, he's losing massive tempi. So they understand that they have lost tempo. This is why now they're starting to develop their pieces. Still don't know what that pawn move was. That was, an, to me, an absolute waste of a move. Could have developed the knight, unless it could... Well, even then. Maybe he wanted his knight to be on this spot rather than to be here. For some reason, which is like managing here, maybe. It's not really my bishop, bishop can take. It's looking to come around here. I'm, I'm confused. So it's a very slow development. Threw a pawn away for no real reason. I'm still struggling to see what it was. So it's Black's turn now anyway. So are they now going to think, well, I'm fairly comfortable going kingside castling. I think maybe they might be thinking, oh, we might be trying to do some sort of fancy trick thing here, opening up the king space. If they did go down that route. Could bring the bishop here just to do a small attack on here. Probably shouldn't worry too much because the bishop can't get through here. Could bring, no he couldn't, just bring the bishop here. Or push the pawn just to stop the queen from um, taking the pawn in the first place. 
maybe he's using that as an enticement but a simple thing like that or we can't move the knight so it's one of these the bishop moving here potentially going kingside castling or doing this pawn push here the pawn push in my head makes him lose tempo to go and castle but at the same time it it keeps a pawn alive because this pawn is not defended this pawn has taken a piece off the board so he's not going to be greedy don't think he's going to look to try and support it so he'll lose tempo grabbing the pawn so if they push the pawn up then the queen takes the pawn so he loses a bit of a tempo then the bishop can move across and maybe castle i think they might be concerned about this type of thing but we'll hang fire on that so let's see what they did <gasps> Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Oh my god, why didn't I not put that in my mental Rolodex? Damn it. Okay, because I'm so focused on this pawn, I'm thinking, well, they're going to give it up anyway. Maybe they want to get the king castle, but they are 2,800. 2,000 pluses, they don't care about castling, do they? So I've got to remember that. I'm still in my basic mode of, oh, let's get castle, you know. Um, but we said right at the very beginning, they're not interested in that. They'll keep fighting and fighting until it's kind of a necessity to castle or get your king safe in some way, shape or form. So that's a lovely touch. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Well done. Well done. Yeah, pretty straightforward. This put, The black player is basically using the answer to the max up to this point it's been utilized to the max totally understand everything that they've done and now the queen takes this is the magic loss in tempo thing yeah i love it you know when the queen comes down here for the b pawn they lose so much um tempo they lose so much position um it's unreal i mean he does have options of coming here now attacking the queen if he's not wanting to go and castle um which it doesn't look like they're doing um, so that's an interesting one and after that where does the queen go queen's got can come back and put a check on here maybe they're not going to do that because then if the queen came up then he just take the rook off the board so maybe they're not going to do that knight move yep so hang fire with that thought process might just be the simple oh it could be the bishop it's not really targeting anything but it's uh something it's not blocking the queen or anything like that so it might, might be too far simple what about this white square bishop that's nothing you're not going to bring your bishop all the way up there so i'm going to go with the bishop move again unless of course he's going to go and go for the exchange because he's now plus one doubt it very much for a 2800 so go for the bishop move <gasps> Attacking the queen again, but the reason why I said I wouldn't go well, I wasn't even thinking of that is because he's just going to get another pawn taken. But the rook can take this pawn here. Oh, it's so beautiful! That is so beautiful. That is lovely. Yes, yes, with you, with you, with you. I, I keep jumping back to going castling, don't I? That's twice now where I've gone castling, castle, castle. Uh, it's my natural basic instinct to go and castle castle but yeah this 2800 is showing full mastery of the answer process i'm loving this yeah that is beautiful okay so attacking the queen obviously now it can go through and take the pawn here and own a file obviously he needs to adjust his king to get it doubly supported if need be but yeah he's owning the file queen takes and obviously grabs so that makes sense pretty straightforward there okay so i don't really know what white's going to do i'm not going to guesstimate for that um, white because they're doing some strange stuff um so again another big pawn push down opening up space for his bishop to probably take this pawn here or the queen whichever all right so i don't like white's play at all i don't the gauge bars on black side but um, i'm not looking at that i'm looking at the style and the system and the methodology that they're using is not nice. Um, I like ugly play, but this is not nice. It's not even it's not even ugly enough to be um, warranted in my um, Rolodex at all. It's not good. 
So, yep, they've opened up. They've got space here to go here. Now, what do we want from our guy? Let me see. There could be... There could be... Whose go is it? Uh, it's Black's go. Yeah, it's Black's go. Okay. What can the bishop do? Can the bishop come up? No, nothing. Uh, could get the knight again, but the queen can always come here, so there's no point. But then there's no attack on the rook this time. So he could come up. Queen comes across. Queen comes up. Yeah, but his rook's got this space here, so we have to be a little bit careful there, don't we? Uh, so he's coming down. Can't take this. I'm still chomping at the bit to get castled somehow. This bishop has got to come out at some point, surely. Maybe the bishop x-rays through here. That looks a bit proactive, doesn't it? And then the rook comes across. Oh, well, they're not going to do that because that you won't be able to take it back. So I think the bishop coming here seems a bit proactive, doesn't it? Oh, am I missing something? Bishop comes here, then the bishop or the queen takes the pawn. Probably the queen because then it'll, it can defend the knight. Right, okay, that's what I think they're going to go with. Let's see. Oh, yes! <laughs> Brilliant. I love this player. This 2800. That's uh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. No surprises. Yeah, only the surprises of the... Because I'm chomping at the bit to go on Castle. But they did the smaller piece attacking the higher piece twice. Which was the pawn attacking the queen. Then the rook attacking the queen. And that is... That is the high level. That's the high level answer process. So simple, so sweet and pure. Yep. So I'm so happy for them doing that. Excellent. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not going to guess what they're going to do. But yeah, we did see the queen coming here because it's protecting the knight. But it's not looking too good for them in that sense because what can black do now? Could castle, but. It is a 2800, so this could actually attack here. But again, it can come down, can't it? We don't want any of that. And then we go here with a thing, but then his rook could come here. Uh, no, I'm not a fan of this. Something's not right. Let's see. what What's he going to do? Obviously, I would go on castle, but um, this is showing that it's out and out winning. Out and out winning 5.5. Does the bishop just take? No. No, it doesn't do that. It's not going to waste this opportunity, is it? Queen can't squeeze through there, so it's nothing. Well, maybe the queen can support. No. No attacks on the king, per se. Maybe the rook come. Oh, dear me. If the rook comes here, the knight can't move. Oh, the rook might come and defend. The rook might come and defend. Then if the bishop takes with a check on the king. The king has to move, so it moves maybe here. No, it can't move there because the rook's there. So it comes towards... Oh, if it goes there, oh, if it goes there, then the knight can come here with a check on the king. Oh, I think that's a, a nice one, isn't it? Hold on. It's a bit tactical. I don't know if it will work because it doesn't, there's no guarantees. It doesn't have to do anything. It can do whatever it wants. It can bring his bishop back to help support. Yeah, so he could do that, which kind of spoils the party a little bit. He could do that, then the knight can still move. Only problem is, is that the queen can come back down again, can't it? Yeah, that spoils it a bit. So maybe not. I still do like that move though. If they went for that, that would be quite pleasing. But this just comes back and spoils the whole thing. 
Okay, castle. <laughs> I'm torn between two moves. Maybe it just takes. No. Torn between two moves. Rook there. Okay, I'm going to go with castling. Oh! God! Oh, we're getting good. We're getting good. Oh, we must be nearly too fat to it. 2800. Excellent. Yeah, all the messing. Right, so we've castled. He's castled. That makes sense. I bet you they did consider this though. And okay, so we're not going to guess what white's going to do. So white pushes onto the bishop. At this point here, there is the option of bringing the bishop back. Or capturing the knight and the queens on our rook. Then we double. That looks a little bit drawishy type thing, but now that the king is out of the way, oh, a smaller piece attacking the higher piece can't be wrong. Can it? It can't be wrong. It's a shame that this square is uh, monitored by this bishop. But anyway, the queen would have to move. Yeah, so... Knight attacking the queen. That's the answer. Oh, come on. I don't care what the computer's saying. Oh, man. That's so simple and straightforward. Okay, nice and steady. So where does the queen go? I'm not guessing for white. And now they're down. So now we have space, but it's not good space. Um... Is there another attack? White bishop? Nope, can't even get into the game. It's got to be something to do with the queen. No? Yeah. Or is it the bishop? Because the pawn is on the bishop now, so do we just does he just take? Does that just waste that position? Or do they come back again? Still keeping the x-ray on. No more attacks on the queen. Because even if we did attack the queen, he takes, and then it gets our bishop. That's not what we really want, I don't think. White square bishop, nothing. Rook, queen, queen. Uh, X-ray, like we said. Onto the queen. But then the pawn takes. I think the bishop's coming back. Or taking. Does it take the knight, though? Does it take the night? Does it take the night? I don't think it will. It takes, it takes, and the rook is all by itself. Knight can't get the king queen again. I think it just moves it back here. That's what I'm going for. Oh no, missed this. That looks a little bit fancy. Is that not similar to putting it here and then the queen takes and then the knight takes and then they get the bishop off the board? Does he not care about his bishop? Hmm. That one's got me a bit foxed. Hold on, okay, so I think that's a winner, actually. Oh, what am I on about? He takes, then takes with a check on the king. King can't, oh, the king can't move. Oh, it could go here. That's the winner. Oh, they've resigned. Shame, sorry. They resigned at this point. Okay, can I move the piece then? Yeah, because if they take, take with a check. I'm not saying that I'm doing the right moves at all, but that's that's what I saw. Take with a check. King. 
So we've got one space, that's what we've said. Not going there. Well, I can take the queen, but are we rushing to take the queen? Is it really finished? Is it really finished? Mm -hmm. Let me see, let me see. I'll check, but that's about it. I mean, this bishop can take the rook, but maybe we'll just take the just do it simple. Take the queen. Let's do a count one, two, three. So, three minor pieces, and they've got two, and they've got a bad position. So, that's why they've resigned. Loving it, loving it. That is absolutely fantastic. 2800 using the answer process. Yeah, fabulous. I'm going to go on to look at another one, another higher rated thing, just to have a look at the answer process potentially being used or not. I didn't know this person was going to use the answer process the way they did do playing as black. Um, it's really. I was expecting to see more of what how the way white played where that was absolute i don't know what that was at all that was some strange play um yeah so really pleased to see the answer process being used this is my learning this is how i've picked up on what the answer process is um other players won't know what i'm talking about but um as we've discussed right from the start of starting our stream we've been working on the answer process and it really if you want an explanation, just check out the um, answer to chess videos that we've done over the past few years. Um, at the end of the day, it's simple direct moves to remove pieces from the ball strategically. And underneath that, there's a remit of concepts and mantras that basically help us to focus on keeping it simple, as simple as possible. One of the key things for this particular game, this really ha really highlighted the traits of the 2000, 2000 plus players in terms of the castling aspect. And it is a takeaway that I'm trying to get into. Um, but, you know, realistically, it's, it's hard to do because what, what they tend to do, as I said before, they even did it, is they don't necessarily care too much about the castling in the early part of the game. They'll fight and jostle for position and stuff but there's a lot of games where i have seen that they have come a cropper because of that lack of castling you know so i think in this occasion this opponent black got lucky because white was not doing anything anything proactive in the game at all not developing their pieces or anything like that in a proactive way it was like single attack style almost playing like a 800 or 900 player or whatever um so in that sense there their psychology of the game really was a little bit weak so they were black was allowed to leave their king in the center of the board for a long period of time because there was no major threats towards it and they only castled to improve their position to continue their attacks towards their king not because they were under threat of any kind <laughs> 